Hi everyone, welcome to G's Kitchen. Today we are going to see a very um, spicy recipe, a spicy liver stir fry. Come, let's see how to make it and what are the ingredients we are going to use. So here, let's see. I have taken around 1 kg of liver and some um, lungs they have given. So this one I have cut into this size of pieces and washed it with turmeric. And into this I am going to make a small marination. So here we have a teaspoon of red chilli powder, uh, half a teaspoon of pepper powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric and a little bit of salt. We are going to add this in and marinate it a bit. Later, we will be adding more pepper into this. Mix it around. Those who have undergone any surgery or kind of that, you can eat this to regain your blood. So this is a very healthy recipe, you can eat once in a while. So I have mixed this well, I am going to keep this aside while we are going to saute the onions and the capsicum. Into a pan, I am going to add some oil. It's around 4 tablespoons of oil. If you have an iron pan like this, this would be the best to make this liver stir fry. I just bought this so I need to season it first before I could use. When I season it, I will make a video and I will show you how to season the iron pan. So now the oil is hot. Here I have taken around, uh, it's around 1 kg of liver. So I have taken around 750 grams of uh, red onions. Red onions would be the best option. If you can get, you can use the red onions that would be more health, uh, healthier. Little bit of curry leaves also goes in. I have got a piece of pendant leaf and I'm going to add in the curry leaf and I'm saving some curry leaf for later use. Stir fry this well. You can have your um, flame on high heat. We added only a little bit uh, salt for the liver, so I'm adding for the onions now. You need to cook the dish until the onions are caramelized. That's when, that's when you get a nice flavor out of the dish. Now the onion has changed color slightly. At this point I am going to add some ginger and garlic. In goes few green chilies. Now you can see the onion has started browning. At this point, add in the capsicum. I have taken around two to three pieces. Just leave it for a second or two, then we can go ahead and add in the liver. It has been 2 seconds since I added the capsicum in. At this point, let's add the liver. Make sure you don't add any water. Drain all the water well when you um, wash it. The liver would lose out water which would, enough, which would be enough for it to cook. So I have added the liver in, give it a stir,
going to close it and leave it to cook um, until it forms a gravy. Now it has been around 10 minutes since I put the lid on. Let's open and see. See, you can see how much water it has boosted up. That's why I said no need to add any water. It still has to cook. So at this point, I'm adding some more curry leaves. it again let it cook for another five to ten minutes now it has been another ten minutes so let's open it I have kept it in a medium flame now now you can see the water and you can see the uh, liver has started frying at this point now we have to add little bit more water, uh, uh, sorry, little bit more oil and start to stir fry this. I'm going to add more curry leaves. Now I'm going to add more pepper. The pepper smell should be dominant so you can add more pepper as you like. There are two ways to cook this. You can choose either you want to have it on high flame and cook it sooner or you have to have it in low flame and cook it slowly. So I have kept it in a low flame now to cook it slowly that's when it gets very nice taste. this point add little bit more oil and let it cook now you don't have to close the lid again you just have to open it and fry the liver Keep on stirring it every now and then. I cook this for further 5 minutes. Now, finally, I am going to add half a tablespoon of cumin seeds powder, roasted powder, just to add more flavor. well and the liver surprise is ready. It took me around 30 minutes to finish the process. If you are doing it in a pressure cooker, you can pressure cook it for 3 to 4 whistles and then you have to transfer this into a pan like this or you can add more oil and start frying it. Now our spicy liver fry is ready. Make this at home and enjoy with your family. Let me meet you with another interesting recipe. Thank you.